Mount St. Helens has seen an increase in earthquake activity with nearly 350 quakes over the last several months. Yellowstone National Park is also being impacted by earthquakes. Whispers, volcanic response, Yellowstone rises after Cascadia quakes. Cascadia shakes the spine of the West. A powerful chain of seismic events has rattled the Pacific Northwest. First came a magnitude 6.8 earthquake beneath Mount St. Helens, followed just days later by a magnitude 6.5 quake beneath Mount Rainier. Both volcanoes are part of the Cascade Volcanic Arc, a tectonically active region influenced by the slow grinding of the Juan de Fuca Plate under North America. Seismologists initially categorized the events as tectonic in origin, but the double impact drew global attention, not just for the shaking itself, but for what happened hundreds of miles away. Within two weeks of the quakes, scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, noticed something unusual. The ground in Yellowstone National Park was rising, fast. Uplift beyond the norm. When Yellowstone's caldera breathes naturally over time, uplifting and subsiding by a few centimeters each year. But this time, the pattern was different. GPS stations near Norris Geyser Basin detected. Uplift measuring 2.5 centimeters in just 10. The Zinsar satellite imagery revealed ground swelling across an area of nearly fan 200 square kilometers. Instruments near the caldera rim recorded subtle cracks forming along the uplift axis. This rate of inflation is three to four times faster than the region's typical background movement. Dr. Maria Ortega, a USGS geophysicist, summed up the situation in a briefing. It's not the magnitude of the movement that alarms us. It's the speed and the trigger. Could the Cascades trigger Yellowstone? Although Yellowstone lies nearly 800 kilometers from Mount St. Helens and Rainier, the physics of Earth's crust allow unexpected interactions. Scientists are considering several mechanisms. Static stress transfer, crustal stress from large, Quakes can nudge regions already near a pressure threshold. Dynamic, triggering geoseismic waves traveling through the lithosphere may have shaken Yellowstone's hydrothermal and magmatic. Fluid pressure redistribution. Subterranean fluids, superheated water, gas, and molten rock might have been displaced by disrupted pathways. Magma cap disturbance. Yellowstone's shallow magma cap, a partially molten layer just three, five kilometer deep, acts like a lid. Shifting stress may have disturbed it. While scientists agree, this doesn't mean an eruption is imminent. The timing is too precise to ignore. Activity on the surface, signs of internal pressure, as deformation accelerated, surface indicators began to multiply. Seismic swarms. Over 900 micro earthquakes have been recorded in the past two weeks, clustering between 5 and 10 kilometers beneath Yellowstone Lake, Norris Basin, and the Caldera Rim. Hydrothermal changes. Several geysers shifted eruption. Intervals. Steam vents widened in the lower geyser basin. Mud pots near. West Thumb began to boil more violently. 
Visitors reported new sulfur odors and unusual ground warmth along boardwalks, prompting temporary closures in active thermal areas. Gas output increases. Scientists reported EU15 20% rises in CO2 emissions helium-3. Anomalies often linked to deep magma movement dies. Changes mirror activity observed before other inflation episodes, though this one is faster and broader. Public concern and government response. Once the YVO released preliminary uplift data, the public reaction was immediate. Tourists posted videos of bubbling pools and steam outbursts. Headlines speculated about a supervolcano awakening. While social media brimmed with doomsday claims about a continental catastrophe. Federal officials responded with caution. No eruption warning issued. Risk level elevated from normal to advisory. Scientists deployed additional gas sensors, seismometers, and drones park ranges began restricting access to certain hydrothermal areas, not due to imminent eruption, but because ground movement can weaken thin crust over boiling water and steam pocket. Scientists debate the trajectory inside monitoring centers and research labs. Opinions are divided. Scenario 1. Temporary inflation. Some believe the pressure will plateau and release naturally through gas venting and slow subsidence. Scenario 2. Hydrothermal explosion risk. Sudden steam-driven blasts could occur if groundwater is flash heated by rising magma or hot fluids. Scenario 3. Magmatic intrusion. Hornane. If magma is rising, even slightly, new fissures could open, increasing seismicity and deformation. Dr. Naoki Harada of the University of Utah remarks, Most eruptions at Yellowstone are small hydrothermal explosions or lava flows, but they're still dangerous locally. Seventh. The Global Lens, Why This Matters In the last six months alone, Mount Etna in Italy released lava fountains. Kolawea in Hawaii entered its 34th eruptive phase. Mount Fuego in Guatemala expelled nighttime lava. Chataal Volcano in the Philippines showed rising CO2 and tremors. Now, 